Hey YouTube, this is Caden again, and as promised, I'm doing a little bit of an update on my Oceanic, I'm oh, sorry, my Core Life bar, Bio Cube. This is the tank, it's had a few days to clear up after putting the sand in. You see, I went with a pretty deep sand bed. Okay, I've got my two little fishies nano magnet cleaner, which is pretty cool, I'll do a little bit of a review on it. I like it. It looks very nice, it's got a nice look to it. The only thing I don't like about it is on the other side it's not circular like this. It's actually square. And it's actually really thin, which is good to get between the walls and corals. But the reason I don't like how it's square in the back is because when you think, hey, I'm gonna go against this right here, it's actually not up there all the way. So you don't really know where you're wipe wiping off. Which makes sense, but that's like, it's just a little just a little problem, it's not really big of a deal. Right now I have the moon lights on. This is what I like the most right now, especially since I don't have anything in there. So I haven't really had any real lighting on it. On top here, sorry, it's a little bit dirty. Um, let's turn over the closet light. Here as you can see, it's really dirty. I'm gonna clean that off. I should have cleaned it off before I took the video. Right here is the LED switch. For the first LED, the second LED, I've only got one strip in there right now. And this is the Power Compact 2. As you can see, it's the blue. Let that focus for a second. And then this is the white. As you can see, my camera's having a hard time adjusting. I need to wipe off the glass. I just got a little, got a little bit dirty because I was putting uh, the protein skimmer, which we'll get to in just a second. This is a little bit of an update. Turn it all off so you can kind of see it's cleared up. As you can see, it's cleared up. Sorry, my hair's poofy because I just got up, but um, it's cleared up real well. Looks nice. A little bit of a couple pebbles from the sand. Really nice looking sand. I'll probably be getting rocks in a few days, maybe even today. And believe it or not, everything is on on this tank. It's pretty quiet, huh? It's a great tank. Everything is nice. This is the pump for the protein skimmer. Small, compact. Let's open this up. Now, I've loved everything about this tank except for one thing. This. When you open it up, it just falls out. Here, I'll show you. I'll have to go get it, but watch. I mean, really? Spend this much money on a tank and it's got a de design like that. It's kind of frustrating. Anyway, down here, you can see it's messy from the sand being in there. Um, this is the uh, tubing down in here from where the pump is sending water back in through this nozzle. The pump is back down there. It's very quiet. And right here, this is the brand new protein skimmer I installed in. When you install this, you want the bubbles right up at the top. As you can see right there, that's where you want your bubbles at. If you haven't done it yet. Um, now it slides right into where the filter cartridge went. As you can see, my filter cartridge is right there. Um, yeah, it fits just great. You would think that it wouldn't fit because of how it's protruding up there if you didn't look back here where it's got the little spot. But it fits perfectly. Very quiet, very compact, very nice looking. You can look at my other video of my unboxing of this. I'm going to show you real quick how the, the tubing goes for this. I'll grab my tubing. Now, coming from the protein skimmer, so I just turn, flip that thing over. Coming from the protein skimmer, the first thing you'll do is you'll cut the line and put in your your check valve. This makes sure that the, if the power goes out or something and the water comes back through, it won't come down into your pump and ruin your pump. Okay, so you cut a, oh, cut the line and put that in there. Okay, and then you cut the line again and you install this in. This is the this is the valve, the air in, the air valve. Okay, and then the other end just goes right to the pump itself. That simple. 
easy. It takes you about five minutes to set up the whole thing. Okay, so that's your quick update. Uh, stay tuned for when I put in the rocks. And it'll be great. As you can see, you love that shimmering right there. I should be able to get that shimmering to turn off the light to my closet here. You do get that shimmering with the blue as well. But kind of camera kind of doesn't like to focus to that, but shimmering is beautiful. Beautiful. And it is just the the blue LEDs which are really bright as you can see here it goes out focus. Great. Well I hope you like this review and update to my tank. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to see this tank come together and look at my old videos of my old tank. Thanks YouTube. Bye.